Well, how about that for some morning Sunday morning news? It looks like Kate, Kate Kelly Loeffler, or Leffler, or Loeffler, however you pronounce her name, has caught the COVID. And she was just hanging out with Mike Pence and David Perdue, another fellow who's up for, <laughs> up for re-election in January. Gee, it's almost like I was 100% correct when I said there's a direct correlation between groups of people who don't take the virus seriously and that same group of people catching the virus. It's almost like I was on to something there. It's almost like, you know, I kind of went with the science. Unlike you, K.K. Kelly. Now, she's trying to come out and play it off saying, well, there was actually an inconclusive test in there, so that muddied the water. Shut the fuck up. If you knew you were around people that were exposed and then you even had one positive test, shut your fucking pie hole and get your ass to quarantine, bitch. You're not even an elected senator. Who the hell do you think you are? In the meantime, she's running around crying about socialism while she gets socialist medicine. She gets socialized medicine while she gets her socialist paycheck and while she gets her socialist vacation because we know the Senate just went on vacation while millions of Americans are suffering. Donald Trump crashed the economy into a brick wall. He had the worst pandemic response ever and the Republicans are not going to do anything to fix it. Look, until Joe Biden gets in office, nothing is going to be done about this stuff. It's not. And, and quite frankly, I think his, what, what he tries to do will be pretty piecemeal at best. But the Republicans aren't doing anything at all. Mitch McConnell just sent the Senate on vacation. So they get their socialist paychecks. They get their socialist benefits. They get their socialist conditions. And the ref, rest of us get nothing. $1,200 33 fucking weeks ago. Pathetic. We should be burning this fucking place down, dude. They, they really are risking this. They are risking great civil unrest through their behavior. They need to have protesters outside their homes, outside every office. They need people to demand them back in D.C. now. Get your fucking asses back to D.C. Pass the stimulus checks. Pass the rent freezes. Pass the mortgage freezes. We want a loan freeze. We want to see Medicaid for all. Okay? We want to see it now. We've had enough of this bullshit. Listen, you can be as irrational, illogical, as unreasonable as you want. You can be a fake tough guy, a wannabe wise guy. Ain't going to make the pandemic go away. It's not. You need to pay people to stay home. You need to. You need a debt jubilee. You need the rent freezes, the mortgage freezes, the, the loan freezes. Okay, you need an economic pause in that sense. And in another, you need to enact some UBI. These stimulus checks need to be monthly and perhaps just make it permanent. Okay, I get it. it doesn't have to be $15 or $1,500 or whatever, or 1200 or whatever. But you, you got to make something permanent. You guys have failed to launch. You have arrested development. You are incapable of tackling the most calamitous crisis of our lifetimes. The biggest economic depression, the worst pandemic, the biggest schism amongst the people, racially. You can't handle any of it. They're doing nothing. 40% of small businesses are going out of business. 40%, 60% is the number they're floating around in the restaurant industry. And for some reason, I think that might even be a little low because you know, it, you know, the restaurant industry uh, notoriously operates on small margins. Okay. They operate on small margins. So that's something that that we have to recognize. It's not going to be a good winter for them. A lot of them aren't going to be around in the spring unless they get on it. These triple P loans, they shouldn't be going to mega millionaires and billionaires. They should be only going to small businesses. All small businesses should have been protected. Not a single one should have had to shut down because of this shit. But y'all are derelicts. You couldn't just furlough the workers and pay them. You had to have a homicidal policy of economic reopening, a murderous policy of reopening schools. Now you're telling people, hey, go celebrate Thanksgiving with as many people as possible. Have at it. A disaster wrapped right up in a catastrophe. Blatant dereliction of duty. It is time to get to their houses in protest. Be, be civil. Keep everything nonviolent. Don't even uh, fuck with any property. Okay. But we need to get to every Republican residence in the country, every Republican office 
in the country and tell them, get the fuck back to work. Now. This isn't up for negotiation. This isn't up for debate. You are employees. Do what you're told. 